Hello there, welcome to another show. Uh, this is me back after a week off. I, uh, I basically ran out of videos to do because I hadn't watched enough. But I'm back now, I've actually seen quite a lot. So I've now got almost two weeks worth of videos to do. So I look forward to a lot of different stuff over the next two weeks. But I'm going to start off with Drug War, which was a film by Johnny Toe. Uh, stars Louis Koo and I'm going to try and butcher... I'm going to butcher this name, I'm not trying to, but Sung Hong Lee, which I think I did okay with that one. Sung Hong Lee plays the police, police captain or police lieutenant, whatever. He's in charge of the case. He's part of the drug squad in China and they're out to get um, Louis Ku's character and his associates. Now, Louis Ku, at the first minute of the film, he's driving through the street, hides a kite cause of some accident, he doesn't know what he's doing, he crashes into a shop and is instantly arrested. Then you go away to another location where Sun Hung Lee is uh, at a, the is undercover at a, a drug smuggling operation and a grunt and uh, he's gonna um be on an inside just as all hell breaks loose, as all the police come in so a lot of the people at the border are actually uh, cops waiting for them. They know something's coming, so they're going to you know, arrest people. So that's what he's doing. That's when we first start them. So the whole uh, first section really is all about the differences of drug busting in China, which is nice to see something like that, that something's a bit different. Because um, Johnny Toe's a Hong Kong director, because China's now part, Hong Kong's now part of China again, He's one of the directors who took advantage of the fact that they're going over the border. There's corruption in both sides of the border, China and Hong Kong. There's lots of politics you, you can never quite work out. And like Hong Kong, and China's not this monolithic thing. Like it's got a government, but it's also got all these areas where there are there's corruption. So Johnny Toe really takes advantage of that and really creates this world that's complicated. And the whole film is really about the complications of the drug business and the penalties of the drug business and what it causes people to do. One of the really good things about this film is it actually looks like complications of the drug business. It's not just a simplistic uh, good guys versus bad guys. Everyone has a reason, everyone has a... It's a business, basically, it's a business. And the government is trying to pounce on the business with brutality, with death sentences coming down to dealers. Well, top, top level dealers, and of course, there's a demand for all this stuff, so people are going to going to go out and actually make money off it. So it is like um, it is taking the drug problem and actually making it almost like a war within China. That's what the film's about. So basically, you start off with um, the cop at the border, and he's, he's coming back, and he's. He knows who everyone's doing what because he was an inside, so everyone's been caught and they're all they're all having a they're all like trafficking drugs inside their bodies, so they all have to basically shit it out. <laughs> Including the cop because he had to, had to do it to show he was one of them. And they have to get all these drugs out. Now that proof these people were transferring things. These are just working class people, these are just people who this is a job for them because there's that's what's available to them. So it's not like they're portrayed as like drug kingpins or anything, it's just, that's just what's available. During this point, while he's in hospital, he gets told about the bust of Louis Koo character, who had all this cocaine over him. They're, he's caught, there's no way out for him, he's been caught. But he, because of that, he tries to escape, and he finds a way around the situation. He almost does escape, apart from the our lead character actually spots him leaving the hospital and actually forces him back in and actually hunts him down. And captures him alive. And it's like... The whole movie is more of a suspense movie than an actual action movie until the end. It's much more about... It's not really about the John Woo type action scenes. Despite what my background cover is here. It's actually about the mechanics of finding them and uh, arresting people. And what do you have to do to get these arrests? Like, What's the process of actually getting these people arrested? What's, what's the difficulty of it? This is one of the joys of the film. It's actually about the process, not the action. There is action, 
but it's backhanded towards the end and most of the process of actually getting drug dealers. So what does it take to get them? What's the problem getting them? What's the difficulties of dealing with the drug dealers? It's much more the French connection than something like a John Woo film. It's much more of the process. In the same way in the, the election series, it was about the process of the elections of the, within the drug and the crime syndicates. This one is the process of the cops dealing with the criminals and how do they go through the process of dealing with them? How do they, how do they fool them so they can give themselves up? Because Louis Q character says, okay, you've got me. But I can get you the actual top, the higher people than me. I can get you into the, like, the all you're ever going to get of the, like, the lower level people like me who are processing in factories and things. You might get one once in a while. Or you might get some people who are smuggling, who are just working class people, who have suddenly faced a death penalty. <laughs> you know... It's like you're not going to get these the top level the people who actually organise it are always going to get away. So what are you going to do with that? Because I can help you get them. So, at this point, the time has to notice that this guy's playing him a little bit. They have to work out how to deal with him. So they decide to go along with it. So he's going to take him in to a deal. But they're going to deal with two different sides. Basically, the guys who's bringing in the drugs to be processed and the other side the other side um, of the manufacturers and the distributors and two people are going to have to meet up and arrange a deal and he has to basically cop and lose crew character have to go to both meetings and act as if they are the other person so these two people don't actually meet so they've proven everybody that way that they get a single character and, the cop character and get a bust and other character can get a, get a deal so he doesn't get killed. He's just trying to avoid dying. And through this process, he takes the cops to his factory. And at this point, he's actually introducing them as basically new people, new contacts. And his own people don't realise he's just sold them out. And he's taking them to like the drug distributors and the drug... The people who who can manufacture and distribute the drugs all over the place and they don't know what's going on and even as they're going further up he's basically saying look this guy is nothing this guy is this is this spokesperson he's not the power the guy you're trying to arrest isn't the power you know there's a whole family and me basically my whole family is the people who do it i'm a minor person in this organization this person you're trying to bust, you bust him, the replacement with somebody else, doesn't matter. It literally does not matter. And at this point, they have to get a good side. Do they, do they get the bust they've got, or do they go further up and try and get the next level? That's as far as I'm going to go with the plot in this film. That's, I'm, I'm pretty much giving you the first like half of it, really. Because that's the kind of what you're finding... You, you get in basically the trailer and there's like, these are the decisions you have to make. It's, I mean, it sounds like it's, oh yeah, I've seen that before in a lot of Western films. But you haven't seen it done like this. This is Johnny Toe doing it and he, he's very good with bigger characters and smaller characters. All the smaller characters in the drug den that Lewis Cruz's character runs. In the cops, in the variety of cops, different kind of cops from different departments, some of whom never know each other until now and have you watch them track it on, but they don't do it in a kind of awful American way where they hate each other because they're both after the bus. No, they're cooperating. It's like, we want to get these guys and we'll both look good till we get them. And it's like, well, who cares who gets the final thing? Everyone's going to come out okay. There's no false drama in there that is just annoying. Instead, it's just people being professional. And that's what's really good is the cops are really good at their job. They're really professional. Um, our lead character cop can fit in with different um, crime people and talk to them and they will not know he's a cop. He does not project himself as a cop. He looks scruffy. He looks just odd. And, you know, and he'll go as far as he has to to actually get this bust. I mean, at one point he has to take part of the... Um, substance to some of the drugs to show that he's not a cop 
and he does it. He almost dies because of it, but he does it. Again, it's like just how far he's going to push, and all the other cops are really pushing as well. They are so much into this idea that these people have to be stopped. And then we get over to Louis Q's character. He's much more mysterious. He does seem ready to sell his own people down the river, but he does also gen seem to genuinely like them. It's like he gets on fine with them. And the more you see his side of the story, the more you get into his story, his family, how they run the drug business, and the mechanics of it all. It's fascinating too because it's like, it's not like all oh, shock horror. It's much more like what you'd get in the the seventies um, Battle for Honor films, where basically it's like this is what they do. This is it. This is a job. They're not like massive. I mean, some of them are egotistical, but other ones are just common sense about it. It's like it's a job. It's just like this is a product. We provide it. So it's almost like Christopher Walken saying he's just a businessman at the end of King New York. It's that kind of mentality. It's like, like uh, people want this. It's not our fault that the laws are weird. You know, that's their point of view. So if they want to, they can get it. We'll provide a way to get it to them. And we'll make a lot of money at the same time. And you've got some of them who use the product, some of them who won't. And the whole big thing is Lou's Q character is, what's he about? What's he trying to do because you're never quite sure because he's always he's always reacting to the what's going on because even though he can set things in motion people will react in ways that he did not expect where the cop didn't expect which will make his plans go um, south pretty quickly so he's always having to react to that and the cops are trying to react to that so you have to try to work out what he's about and you try to work out what the cops are about but the cops do feel more solid. Like you kind of know what they're about, but it's like how far they're going to go, and you know it's pretty far. <laughs> but it's really enjoyable to watch it. It's just this kind of little sense of professionalism, but they're kind of maniacs for this thing. It's like, we have to solve this problem. No matter what, we're going to solve this problem. And they're kind of almost like addicted to solving the problem. So this is a wonderful film. It just It's a perfect example of a really great um, corpse versus drug dealers thing. It's got that kind of it's a similar sense to what you have. It's not the same as The Wire, but it's that similar sense of the complexity of the situation is more. It's not just good guys versus guys in a big um, palace or something like Scarface. It's like working class people tied into this drug war that has a lot more victims than anything else, and it's a terrible situation. The, to me, the film does go off at the end a little bit when it goes into action mode. I don't. Th I think it goes. To me, I'm not going to give it away, but I think it goes a bit too cynical. And a bit too bloodthirsty. And I could have done with about half the dead bodies and it would have been much more affecting. I think it goes too far at the end. But it's, till then, it's really good. It's really solid. It delivers constantly. The way that Johnny Toy is Pete can, he's just such a good director. He knows how to let the actors go and let the actors dominate a scene and not get in the way. And then when it's his time to take over live that with the suspense and the action he can really deliver. The mood's terrific throughout. Everything seems in the right place. It's just at the end it does feel like he goes too far. It almost feels like he's been uh, he, I'm not sure it was a commercial thing but it feels like he never he lost a bit of control over his own like the mania of that was under the surface of the film seems to explode out and I think they don't get really worse as well as something like the election movies which have much more nuanced endings that I think deliver more and you know and even when he goes about over the top and ending like Exiled it seems to work better for the film because it's a, it's a more operatic film in the first place this one it feels it like goes from being like an election movie to being an Exiled movie <laughs> and it jumps over and I don't think it was set up to jump over but it's still a terrific film when you find out the motivation of the Lewis Q character is quite enjoyable because you actually do see um, it's not what you expect but it's been set up so much, you have to realise you should have expected it. So, um, it is a wonderful film. It's really well acted, it's really well directed, the writing's terrific. It's one of those ones that's like, you could have done a whole series of movies and some of these characters. These were really interesting characters. You could have extended it towards more than one movie, but that didn't happen. But it's still a wonderful film. I highly recommend it. Just go try and see it. I mean, it's available on physical media. And I think it's available on uh, streaming as well. So, 
highly recommendation. It's another great Johnny Toe movie. Just I think the end went a bit too far, but still great. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll be back with another video very soon. <laughs>